everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Yev. Today we have the Acaso Brave 6 Plus action camera. This is an action camera made by a company called Acaso. They're if you're not familiar with Acaso, I suggest you do some research. There's plenty of videos on YouTube where people compare their different kind of cameras against your typical GoPro camera, you know. Um, in my case, what I wanted is I wanted an action camera that I can stick on my motorcycle helmet that would perform well, give me good audio, and was reliable. And guys, this is a third of a price of a typical new GoPro setup. So, question is, is it worth it? Well, I think it is. I'm gonna cut straight to the chase and let you guys see some footage with this camera. Before I do that, I'm gonna add one thing. I am using a Costos microphone. So the typical, the camera does have an external mic, but if you put this thing on a helmet, all you're gonna hear is wind noise. You don't want that. You wanna be able to use a microphone that goes inside your helmet that it can pick up your voice as you're talking if you wanna to talk to your audience or whatever you're doing. And also, it's just gonna sound better, okay? And the cool thing is that Acaso makes a microphone specifically for the Brakes 6 Plus, and it's $10, it's not a lot of money. It has a USB type C, connection which will go on this side of the camera where you have two ports you have a USB-C and a micro USB it'll go in there and as soon as you plug it in the little display in the back will show that there's a little microphone icon so you know your microphone's working and guys it's way better than using the external mic obviously so let's go ahead and see what that looks like Okay, we're back in action. See how the sound is. So I'm not really talking a lot here. I'm just kind of riding, not too fast. Average maybe 30 miles an hour. And there's not a whole lot of wind noise, hopefully. Except for the buffeting from the windshield. So maybe we'll hear a little exhaust sound. Of course that's wishful thinking because it is a stock muffler but I can hear it in my head so hopefully the, the microphone can kind of pick it up so there's a lot of shady spots um, there's a lot of shade from the trees in a lot of sunny areas um, sometimes it's hard when you're riding in these areas because if there's a big pothole you can't tell if it's a pothole or if it's uh, like um, shade but uh, but also on camera it's even worse Typically cameras have a hard time picking up that kind of dynamic range, especially cheaper cameras. Um, so, I'm curious to see how this will look on, uh, on the computer. I don't want to go too fast. I have a passenger and you know, we don't want to do anything crazy. If I'd, if I'd be riding solo, I'd feel a little more comfortable uh, leaning the bike over a little bit more. But Okay, microphone is in a slightly different position. It's higher above my mouth. So we'll see. We'll see uh, if uh, the sound quality is different or maybe if it picks up my voice more or less. Recording. Ugh. Trick is to check out the porter potty. I'm going to be getting on the freeway, interstate highway. The speed limit, I think, is like 70 on it. So it's really going to show us what the camera quality, microphone quality, is going to be like at those speeds. A lot of wind noise, a lot of road noise, a lot of car noise, whatever, you know, you get it. Um, this is the first time I'm taking this setup on the interstate, so let's see how that is. We'll find out.
this camera when you're recording video there's a, well, so when it's on there's a blue light on the around the power button on the front it's always on and when you press to record video the blue light starts flashing on and off and it just flashes until you stop recording so as far as i'm concerned without using the wi-fi function with your smartphone that is the only way to confirm that you're recording so i'll look in the side view mirror and i can kind of see it flashing of course it's hard to tell in, in daylight because it's not a very bright light so yeah that's that's a little disappointing the little remote control uh wristband remote that comes with this camera here's the thing it's got two little lights on it and I was very hopeful that one would function as the indicator light for the photo mode, and the other one would function as the indicator light for video. Well, they do function. They, they blink when you uh, take a photo, and it also blinks once when you turn the video on, kind of indicating to you that, hey, the, you know, the camera did do something. However, the little red light blinking thing on the remote does not stay on. So you don't know if you turned the recording on or if you turned the recording off. So that's too bad. I feel like Acaso could probably modify that. It's just a, you know, you engineer the little chip inside the remote or whatever it is to say, hey, when it's recording, the light stays on. Um, and of course, these, these little lights are probably tiny little diodes that take up like no power at all so i wouldn't be too worried about battery life but if battery life is an issue you know i'm sure there's a uh, hundred ways to to uh handle that as well okay so if you're still with me in this video you probably are curious as to how i mounted it to my helmet i've got a situation where i have a modular helmet which means that my face opens up and closes i like it because it's easy to put it on and put it off and i don't have to take my helmet off to do certain things um, however that might or may not make the mounting of a camera complicated my initial thought was you know what i'm just going to mount it on the side so i don't have to worry about all this movement um, but then i found out that when you do mount a camera on the side of your helmet the point of view isn't as natural as what you would like it to be you know if you're showing this to your audience you want them to see what you're seeing with your eyes and really the best position for that is probably a chin mount there are a lot of accessories out there guys you can buy a bunch of things online that allow you to mount a camera to your chin um, i wanted to make it work straight out of the box and honestly in my experience you cannot make it work straight out of the box you're going to need some kind of additional adhesive to help you what i mean by that is here you have a clip mount it's slightly curved it comes with a little adhesive pad you know it's stuck to the to the clip that goes onto your helmet However, the curvature of your helmet is never gonna be exactly the same of the curvature of the clip. So what you need is to help the adhesive come in full contact with your helmet. A lot of guys use JB Weld, they use different kind of adhesives out there, glues, there's even this stuff, I forget what it's called, but I'll put it in the video. Um, I didn't have time, unfortunately, to get all that. What I did have was I had Gorilla double-sided tape. This is their heavy duty version it's very pliable and um, it's pretty easy to use what i did is i used this to help me shape the curvature of my helmet on to the clip and honestly guys i actually tried this on two, two helmets first i tried it on a cheap suami helmet that i had that i wasn't too worried about you know damaging or peeling paint off whatever worked perfectly still on there did not fall off didn't shake off no no vibrations nothing so I went ahead and put it on there, did the whole tape thing. It's working perfectly. I've been riding around at this. It's not budging a single bit. And the nice thing about it is I know that I can technically remove this from my helmet without leaving any kind of a, you know, residue or whatever. So that's the nice thing. If you're not 100% committed to this, it's nice to know that you can take it off and not worry about it being on there later. Um, the next question is how do you mount this on there? Well, Acaso gives you this little cage for the camera you clip it's got a little clip on the top it's a little it's not easy to put it in there which is good because it means it's very um secure there we go so this allows the camera to now have a thread on the bottom and what you will do with that is you'll take this piece and i'm going to reverse engineer this for you guys that way you kind of know what i did um, because you're just going to have to sit down and look at all the accessories you got from Acaso and decide what you're going to use and what you're not going to use because there's a bunch of stuff here that I'm not using and I probably never will use for a helmet. 
So let me take this all apart. Okay, this is a J clip. This clips securely into your clip attachment mount that is on your helmet, like so. To take it off, you just squeeze the little uh, claws and it'll pop right back out. So that is one thing I'm using. The re There's another clip that I'm using on my other camera that's not a J-clip, meaning that the, the mount on the clip is a little closer to the center of it. Um, this just allows you to offset the camera from the structure, whether it's a helmet or whatever, or your handlebars. Next thing I need is a little extender. This gives me uh, about three quarters of an inch of distance between the clip and the helmet mount. So that's good. I want it a little further away from my chin, right? This little piece has a thread on it and it goes from thread to this attachment. That is what is gonna go into the bottom of your little plastic cage of the camera. So you're gonna screw that on. You'll notice that it stops at a weird location and then allows you to securely tighten it with this, uh, with this basically this plastic nut which you tighten and it tightens the thread against the plastic, doesn't let, allow it to move. So let's go ahead and put that back on. Here's my extender. I want the extender on there. And you'll kind of have to play around with this to figure out which direction you want to mount these on because obviously I can mount it on like that or I can switch it around like that. Um, you don't want it to be too busy on one side to where you have a bunch of these little uh, tightening bolts. So you don't want to have a bunch of knobs on one side, but it does work that way if that is what you end up doing. So I'm going to tighten that a little bit. And now I need to put this on to the J-clip, which I'll just slide that in there. Put my bolt in there. Tighten that up. So now I have my setup, right? Here is the chin of my helmet. This goes in. I'm not gonna tighten anything up too much. This goes in like so, clicks in. And I can adjust the angle of my camera if I need to, back and forth, however I need it. I'm also gonna give it a little bit of movement here so it's, I'm basically tightening that thread so it's exactly perpendicular to my helmet. That way I'm looking straight and the cam camera's not always looking to the left. And then I wanna make sure everything is tight. To calibrate the angle, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to download Acaso's, it's called Acaso Go app. It's super easy to download on your smartphone, works on Android and iPhone. You download that, you connect to the Wi-Fi that comes from the action camera itself, and you get a preview on your uh, on your smartphone. And that's what I did. I put it on my motorcycle. I made sure that I was able to see enough of the road and not too much of the speedometer and not too much of the road and not enough of the speedometer. You get what I'm saying. So I just just the angle to my liking, tightened it up real well. Finger tight is good. However, if you uh, are super concerned, it is actually a Phillips screw head in there. So you can tighten it a little bit with a screwdriver. Just don't overdo it. You don't want to crack the plastic. And then when you're ready to record, all you have to do is connect your microphone to the camera. Make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want it to be loose, which is a whole different story um, that I don't want to go into, but you'll see why. You probably already saw why I explained that. And then the microphone is in your helmet. Where you mount the microphone in your helmet is up to you. It's trial and error. I ended up mounting it right here. Basically, um, it's where the cheek pad is. It's stuck in between. It's loose. It's not permanent. Um, it seemed to have worked. It wasn't rattling or shaking against my skin, causing that scratchy sound, so that was good. Finally, we have the remote. And I mentioned in the video that the remote does not indicate whether it's recording or not. It just indicates whether you press the button and it's connected to the camera or not. Meaning, again, I don't know if it's recording. I know if something happened, but I don't know if I turned it on or off. I could confirm that with having my iPhone in front of me connected to the camera nonstop but I would suspect it would probably drain the battery quicker because the Wi-Fi connection is gonna be on the whole time. And I don't wanna do that. I also don't wanna to have to have my phone on all the time with the screen display turned on. I might wanna have GPS on instead. So honestly, guys, I think just being able to look in a side view mirror and confirming that that light is flashing is your best bet. You'll get used to it. Um, it's the same thing as right now. I'm recording myself. I'm looking at, a dis uh, at my uh, field monitor and I see that the red light is flashing, which means I'm recording. That's all. There have been times when I've done this and I've noticed that I wasn't recording and that's just a trial and error thing. You get used to it over time. Of course, it's nice to have the accessories where they show you, you know, battery life, uh, everything, you know, how much you got on your card. That's all cool and GoPro has all that. But if you're just looking to spend $120, $130 of accessories and you don't want to spend any more and you want this setup, then uh, by far 
this is a good, good solution. And I'm happy with it, guys. I think this is a, a you know, five star review, whatever, five out of five stars. I can't complain about anything too much. Um, so Akaso, if you're listening, which you're probably not, but if you are, make this remote to where the light stays on. If you're recording and it turns off when you're not, I mean, come on, how hard is that? I'm sure some engineer can figure that out. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, I'd love your suggestions as far as mounting microphones and what, what to use for adhe adhesion because um, everybody's got an opinion on YouTube. Uh, sometimes that's a bad thing, but honestly, it's a good thing in the long run because you get to learn a lot. Um, so again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.